Howdy folks, little John, and it's time to do a uh, bit of tasting and sampling. Uh, we've got today is the hard lemonade version two, um, which is brewed back. Uh, I think it was very early in December. Um, bottled just before Christmas, a couple of days before Christmas. Um, I've gone through the records and I can't find my information. There is a video, I will link the um, actual brew day up, but I can't find the numbers. I do recall having them on a piece of paper, uh, which was on my computer desk uh, in the study. It's been cleaned up since then, so it's probably hiding somewhere in amongst crap in there. So, um, can't give you a whole bunch of numbers. Um, I, original gravity, I think, was 1053. I've just had a bit of a look through on the brew day. Uh, so, um, yes, I don't know what final gravity was. Seems to be a little bit light on the fizz. Very light on the fizz, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's about, yeah, two and a half, pushing towards three months old. Uh, there was a change in the recipe this year. Uh, it was a little bit more juice. I was looking to push a bit more lemon, a bit less sweet. Um, I did throw some uh, mitose in this year. Um, and I can't lay my hands on... I've got a bad habit of not actually recording these hard lemonades in my brew logs. Um, so, yeah. But, um, now these fresh lemons uh, I remember a little bit of ginger, some lime juice, lactose, uh, EC triple one eight yeast. Now it's at fermented ambient temperatures on the uh, bench here in the garage for a couple of days, then it went into the into the um, ferment fridge. So see if it was quite light. The first poured, it's come up a little bit uh, yellowish and it's picked up a little bit off the bottom of the bottle. And it's fairly clear. It's not a big, massive lemon nose, but yeah, it's obvious that there's a little bit of lime there as well. Okay, that's quite nice. Okay, it's definitely far more balanced than last year's. Last year's was quite puckering and a bit dry um, in the mouth. Um, we had that quite strong sort of lemon bite, which is what I was trying to get rid of with the lactose, uh, and it's it's worked fairly well. Um, it's not. It's not noticeably sweet. Yeah, there's some, some sweetness there, but it's balancing up very very well with the with the sourness. So it's it's not really one or the other. It's a just a bit of both, um, which is working quite nice. Now I'm a little bit up, yeah, a little, a little bit perturbed. There's not any fizz in that. Um, and there might be more in other bottles. There's a little bit, but certainly not as much as one would have hoped. Um, and these have been sitting in the garage uh, at Ambien over summer, so it's been, um, you know, good temp, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be carved up. So um, I'm assuming that's just an issue with this particular bottle. Again, I can't tell you right now how I carved the bloody thing, so... Mm. 
มันนาความปั้มน้องบอดี้แฮปปี้กันแล้ว last year's batch went down pretty well um, most people enjoyed it uh, I know there's been a few yeah quite a few people at home that have brewed it and I've had comments that um, you know people really enjoyed it um, so and it was quite as I said it was quite sour it was quite puckering um, very it was very drying on the mouth uh, and that obviously that works for some people it's not doesn't work particularly for me I thought it was definitely too sour too dry uh, but this one is it's not it's got a, it's a little bit you get, a, you get a little bit of sour in the initial taste and a little bit sweet as it comes through then it's a little bit of drying on the mouth dry edge and it pulls across the tongue and that's gone. And there's a little bit of sweetness left there. A little bit of a little bit of subtle tartness but the dryness lasts that four or five seconds and that's gone and your mouth's clean and fresh. But last year's batch it was just really sucking all the moisture from your mouth and making it quite dry. Um, there's no dryness in my mouth now. So I think that lactase has really worked. Um, it's really toned down that problem. So um, yeah, alcohol wise, I said, again, without being able to check the numbers, I'm not really sure where we finished up. I'm trying to rack my brain, trying to think where it was. Um, <laughs> tell ya. <laughs> Interruption of the law this afternoon. <laughs> Mrs. is just going for a walk around the block. She's uh, still getting over a surgery last week and she's just getting back in the groove and <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much lounge bound for most of the time. She's cracking a lap or two around the bottom of the yard a couple of times a day. So if she goes to drag the dogs away, might keep them occupied a little bit. Um, yeah, so I said, alcohol wise. I'm not sure where it's actually finished. I'm thinking it's going to be, it, it should have been somewhere in the mid fours. Um, maybe. I've got a vague memory of somewhere that I'm working out that was around 4, 9 or 5%. Um, it may have finished a little dry, a little lower, the gravity than I was expecting, than I'd calculated for. Um, but again, I'm not sure. Uh, <coughs> Run a hydro over it and see. Probably should have just grabbed a bloody refract out and save using so much, but we'll see what this wants to tell us. Okay. <laughs> no, that's telling me about 10 20. Which I really don't think is correct. Um, no, it could be. 33. That would have, that would get us in the. Uh, that would get us in the mid fours. So it's possible. Um, no, that's like if you look back on view day, on back on the brew day, you know I really I got a way different. Original gravity than I was expecting to. I didn't get the volume I thought I would compared to last year's batch. I had more juice this year um, and got less volume at roughly the same um, gravity. So I'm not exactly sure what that was about. That may just be seasonal thing with the lemons. Uh, maybe they just didn't have as much sugar in them this year. But either way. I'm very happy with that. So, Heart of Lemonade version 2. Um, 
definitely a success. Very happy. Second with one up for me. Clearly, well, not clearly, you can't, you can't do a prick, but a better a uh, better result than the initial version, uh, which for me was too too tart, too dry, and too sour. Uh, this is definitely certainly not pushing into soft drink lemonade. It's probably more traditional uh, sort of thing. So very happy. So as always, if you've got any questions or comments on the lemonade and the process or anything like that, stick them down the bottom. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Little John's Brewing, hit the button down there in the corner, come along for the ride, get notified when we're doing things. Uh, if you're Patreon, as always, cheers guys. Uh, a bit more coming your way soon. Um, if you're thinking of being a Patreon, so I want to find out what it is, hit the link below. But for now, that's me. Done. So, to us, see you again. We're brewing beer, talking beer, drinking beer or lemonade. Good brewing.